I'm Miranda, and today we are going to make another Thanksgiving leftover meal for you guys using your turkey, because we always got so much turkey we need to use. So today we're making turkey pot pie soup in the Insta Pot. It's gonna be really easy to make too. So we're gonna use one and a half um, pounds of turkey, and then you can use the veggies that you have left over, or you can do um, some mixed veggies, then there's some cheesy carrots, and also we're gonna add a cup of corn, um, we got four cups of diced potatoes, salt, pepper, poultry seasoning, some chicken stock, and then to make, thicken it up, we're gonna use some heavy cream and flour. So we're gonna get putting this in the Instapot. And then now you're gonna cook it on high for five minutes. Make sure your Instant Pot is set to ceiling, right? Yes. <laughs> there you go. So also, it'll take your Instant Pot um, like normally like 10, 15 minutes to pressurize. So do that in that time when you are cooking in your Instant Pot. They just don't automatically just like start cooking. So I wish it was that easy, right? <laughs> Okay, so now that the Instant Pot just beeped, you're going to let the pressure out. So how you do that is there's a valve back here and you're gonna push it towards the front of the Instant Pot. You don't wanna put your hand over it because it will burn you because that steam is really, really hot. So you can take a spoon, anything, and you can like move it forward or you can just do it with your hand. So while that's releasing, we're actually just gonna mix our um, heavy whipping cream with our flour to put that in after this is done, just to thicken it up. Okay, so now that the pressure in the Instant Pot is completely released, and how you know that is there's a red little thing back here, and it goes down. Um, so, you can go ahead and take the lid off. Mm, that looks so good. And then just kind of like stir it up. And then you're gonna add the little mixture in there. You definitely wanna mix these two together before you add it in there, otherwise it'll be clumpy. So add this in here. And then mix together. And then normally I just let this sit for like 15 minutes just for it can thicken. Um, and then you're ready to eat it. All right, well we hope you enjoyed that and it gives you some leftovers to use your turkey and that way you won't have any going to waste. Yep. So also make sure you subscribe, um, give us a comment below. Also make sure you give us a thumbs up and then join us at our next workout or recipe.